Hello, so in this video I will explain how to install the latest and newest AutoCAD 2021. So if you would like to practice and learn how to use AutoCAD, you can go to and look for free Autodesk uh, programs and in Google type free Autodesk and you will uh, should check for this link, skip ads and select this link. When you open this link, you will be guided to free software page and here you can select which programs you would like to download and automatically the most popular uh, it's uh, in this location so you can see and you can click AutoCAD. After this page loads, you can see some description of the program. You can see system requirements, you can read article and check it out if your computer is uh, powerful enough for the latest versions. Next you need to create account if you don't have it. So you click create account and select your school email or your personal email if you are a student. Uh, so next step after you create your account uh, you should sign in to your account and later you can change settings and select which version of AutoCAD you would like to download and then you can select download options and also from here you can reach some learning materials uh, learn more find the academic partners and get starting and so on so let's connect so when you click sign in you should provide your email or your uh, name uh, for Autodesk account and later you should provide your password. Okay, after you connect to the application you can see your profile picture here and you should be able to change settings uh, which are presented here. So you can uh, click personal or individual use if you are a school uh, uh, partner so you should select deployable version for network servers uh, or without network servers. So now I will select personal and individual use. So next I select which version I would like to download. So I will select the latest 2021. I select the Windows operating system 64 bits and language. So here you can see a lot of available languages. So in this case I will select English. Also you can choose your the most suitable language for you. After this uh, program uh, automatically generates uh, uh, codes and, and serial numbers for your license and they will send you an email which will uh, be in your email box. Also check this uh, annotation so it can go uh, to the spam or junk folder so uh, check it out and uh, you will get your serial numbers in this location. So here you can see some more uh, specific uh, information about your license. So you will receive education license for one year and you can read more here. And let's go to the installation of this program. So my recommendation don't click install now because uh, if you have not very good uh, internet speed and uh, maybe you're using Wi-Fi so uh, sometimes it uh, can be problematic because program will not be downloaded fully and some add-ins and uh, additional tools will not be downloaded or installed so uh, I always choose download now and program suggests to open uh, Autodesk download manager so I do it if you don't didn't have installed this application in your computer so uh, the program will provide you uh, guidance how to install this uh, small application and from here you can download needed program and after it finishes download you can start installation process uh, of course you can uh, close your computer you can turn it off and this download manager will uh, pause your 
uh, download process and will continue after you connect to your uh, computer again and you have a good uh, internet speed uh, at any moment you can pause and uh, pause your downloads uh, of course uh, you should uh, see what uh, downloads has a lot of space so you should uh, provide the disk partition in which you have a lot of space to download the files so my recommendation select uh, not the operating system disk maybe select additional disk and choose the disk location from here so uh, typically it suggests to download it into C disk uh, autodesk folder but if you have SSD disk it will be uh, very quickly filled up and you will have some problems uh, after download you need installation space so uh, later you can delete these downloaded installation files so I click install the installation window opens and depending on your installation uh, choices typical user should use uh, just a simple install uh, advanced users uh, for deployment to the servers and and class computers should use uh, these additional tools uh, so in this case I will select install So I select from the list of the country I am installing this application and of course I should read this license. It describes how I can use this application, for what purpose, what does it mean student and so on. Uh, so all these uh, restrictions should be followed when you are using your program. So I accept to this license agreement and I click next. Now I s click this location and I should uh, select additional parameters which I need for my application. So I should leave uh, all by default and in this uh, case I will select this one. Uh, I should like to report some uh, performance of using this uh, application so uh, the developer can, can make later better program and uh, better solutions of course i need some express tools desktop shortcut yes i need it and i can check it out customize uh, settings express tools license transfer unity and make great custom settings okay all these settings is needed so i after i do it i click here and i check out the installation location like i said if you don't have enough space so you should uh, provide additional disk uh, location um, but the programs it's better to run on SSD disk in your main uh, disk so uh, plan your space and if you see everything is uh, according to requirements so you can click here and let's wait a couple of minutes After installation process is complete, you should see information like this. So all product is check marks. Sometimes for some reason AutoCAD can crash and not install correctly. So one of the reason is uh, it can be not downloaded properly. And uh, other reason can be uh, old updates of your operating system. So before installing you also should check out all the updates for windows and and other applications if you have any problems with these applications so you should uh, go to the community pages and check for recommendations and for error messages and for discussions and restart your computer and you can work insert given serial numbers and you can learn how to use AutoCAD. That's all. Thanks for attention.